I'm joined now. I feel quite intimidated because they're all leaning in at me. <laughs> Gents, <Gentle. laughs> that was the whole thing. I was like, oh, goodness me. OK, you're the grand fromages of opera here from across the UK. We've got Oliver, we've got Casper, we've got Richard, Alex and Michael. Hello to you all. I'm going to hand you the microphone and you can pass it accordingly. Uh, first of all, what is the point of today? Oliver, do you want to start with that one? Well, I think really the point of today is to illustrate that there's more to opera than just the... Uh, exclusivity with which it's associated with and really it's about great passion it's about great stories it's about great music making um, and i think that today will illustrate that you're all clearly converts why should the ordinary folk give it a go because i think when i meet people who don't like opera it's usually because they haven't seen one right. when you when you try it it's often very addictive because it's really telling great stories about being human and then with fantastic music it's not as complicated as people think i would actually love to go and see la boheme and not know how it ends you know imagine you could go in and just experience it as a first timer i think people have something they're missing out on if they don't give it a try the thing is though in these tight times you know i'm going to see the arctic monkeys i've spent 55 quid there well, why should their money come this way well, you're going to get a fantastic experience in, the, in a live performance of opera when you're on stage with, you know, one, all, all, very wonderful productions, great music, huge orchestra, big orchestra in this theatre here this afternoon. Um, uh, you know, the big sheer chorus. power, big chorus, power, the power me. of the music. And, and it's, a, it's not just a numbers game, but what you're getting is, you know, it's real musical, theatrical experience that is unmatched. You're all, your enthusiasm is hitting me, and you're all men as well. Yeah, Thankfully not hitting course, me, but where yeah. are the women? Are there women involved? In fact, I think we were just talking about this earlier. Most of our organisations are predominantly, um, have predominantly female uh, uh, workforce. It just so happens that the five, five of us here today just are boys. Pure coincidence. And as you can tell, three of us share a hairdresser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does that say about the state of the UK yeah. opera? Uh, just wanted to come back to your point about the Arctic Monkeys. I think the other thing we should remember is that actually whilst you can go to the Arctic Monkeys for 40 quid, you can come to opera for as little as 10 quid. Yeah. Price, is 10 absolute, price is absolutely not the barrier to coming to enjoy all of the wonderful things mm. my colleagues have mm. talked about. And addressing some of those preconceptions then, you know, you have the, it's the people with the posh voices, it's the champagne, all those kind of things. What, what would you say to that? Well, that's your end of champagne. Okay, so that's, that's the rubbish end. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, think, I think those who work in it are absolutely not uh, elite. They, they're from all sorts of backgrounds. Um, and I think there is, you know, sometimes there's an issue of um, the, the entrance prices, but I think mostly all the companies are making every effort to make it more accessible. And I think, I think today is the most important thing today is that to, to say that the, all the companies in Britain want the same thing. We want to uh, open things up. We want to encourage a new audience. And I think that's what today also will, will say. There's the companies all coming together. On, I just want to think, I think maybe you confuse a little bit the champagne thing because <laughs> dressing up when you go to opera is not about necessarily wearing Armani, it's about putting on for your own sake, you know, your favourite jeans and go to do something which is really fantastic. So if you want, if you like champagne, have that, if you'd rather have, you know, whatever, but you should celebrate that you're going to have hundreds of people performing for you, telling you these great stories. So don't dress down for opera, celebrate that you're going. And we shouldn't be worried about the word elite, you know, I mean, I think it means, you know, to be the best. And and we are certainly the best. OK, well, anybody that's uh, watching now and thinking, well, I, I don't know where to start, what would you recommend as a first opera? Let's just have a, a straw poll here. What, what are you going to recommend? Well, I think that it depends on what sort of person you are and how old you are. I think for young children, young people, I think the Magic Flute is the perfect place to start. If you're a little bit older and you like romance, I think La Boheme, La Traviata. There's something for everyone. It just depends, really, on what you're after. I mean, I met someone who saw Wozzeck, which is considered a difficult opera, but he loved it and was hooked. It depends on who you are. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think often operas with great theatre. So I would say operas of Janacek. I took a young guy to the Macropolis case, and he's never turned back. He's become a complete. He's become an opera director as a result. But I take my first uh, friend to Peter Grimes. Right. Oh, quite a few suggestions. Yeah, I, I would be slightly, in a slightly different place. I think Madame Butterfly is the right place to start if you're right. new to opera, irrespective of your ages, because it's an incredibly universal story that resonates really clearly, and it's a 20th century story, so it makes a transition into the 21st century really easily. So for me, along with the terrific music, it's the right place to start. Okay. I think Bohem, which is playing here today. Um, I think Figaro is a good starter opera, and I think for children, actually, um, Hensel and Gretel, Humperdinck. I think that's an absolutely wonderful. Great stuff, thank you.